Windows 10 will not connect to Wi-Fi automatically issue typically occurs after Windows Update. In this case, the update process might not have installed new files correctly, or they might have been damaged to begin with. First let's make use of Network Troubleshooter. Click on Windows button, type in Troubleshoot and select Troubleshoot Settings option. In newly opened window, click on Internet Connections and select to run the troubleshooter. Follow on-screen instructions to complete the process. Now let's use built-in system scanners. Right-click on Windows button, select Command Prompt Admin. In Command Prompt Environment type in the given commands one by one, each followed by Enter Press. After entering the second command you might have to confirm the scan by typing in letter Y. After that, reboot your PC. If you are using Wi-Fi, in this method we will remove saved Wi-Fi connection. Click on Windows button, then click on Settings button. In newly opened window click on Network and Internet option, then in the menu on the left, click on Wi-Fi category and then on the right click on Manage Known Networks. Select your network and click on Forget button. Then try reconnecting again. Now let's get rid of Fast Startup feature. Click on Windows button, type in Control Panel and press Enter. In newly opened window click on Power Options, then in the menu on the left click on Choose what the Power button does option. After that, on the right, click on Change settings that are currently unavailable and uncheck the box beside Turn on Fast Startup. Click Save Changes button and reboot your PC. Now let's reinstall your network adapters. Right click on Windows button, select Device Manager. In newly opened window expand network adapters entry. Right click on your network adapter and select to uninstall. Check the box for deleting all adapter related driver software. Click the uninstall button and wait for process to finish. Then in the menu at the top, select action and then select to scan for hardware changes and system will automatically reinstall it with newest drivers. After that, reboot your PC. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos.